Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be discussing various types of farming methods we normally adopt uh, while doing agriculture. So I have depicted various uh, smart way of doing agriculture in this video. So I have depicted almost around uh, six type of uh, agriculture uh, methods in this video. The first method we are trying to depict here is step farming. Here, when there is a steep hill is there when there is a steep hill is there so we are trying to grow the plants in a step by step manner so here this step by step manner we also call it as a vertical farming here we are trying to cultivate in a vertical fashion and the second type of uh, farming we are trying to showcase in this uh, video is solar irrigation working model here by making use of solar energy we have used solar panel to convert the solar energy to generate electricity. By using that electricity, we are going to run our DC water pump so that by using this DC water pump, we can deliver the water to all our agriculture fields. Now we are going to demonstrate how this working model really works by switching on this motor. Now if you can see right, the water is going to pump uh, and uh, the same water is going to circulate into this agricultural land. So this is how the entire solar system irrigation working model really works. And the third method of agricultural practice is here we are trying to use hydrophonic method. Hydrophonic method is nothing but here we are not using any soil here, but in place of soil, we are just making use of uh, nutrient uh, water, where uh, water is mixed with nutrients which is required for the plants, that water is we are circulating in this uh, hydroponics. When we circulate this water, it will consume the all the water in this floor. And once the water is consumed, the remaining water will come to the next floor, which is second floor. Here also, once the plant uses the water, the remaining water will come into the first floor. Then from first floor, which comes back to the same old tank where we pump the water. So this is how the entire process will keep happening throughout the day until these uh, plants gets gross uh, in its lifetime. So now we will try to switch on this hydroponics and show you how this hydroponics uh, really works. See now the water is pumped here and uh, same water after uh, distributing to across all the levels, the same water will come back to the ground uh, water tank. So this is how this entire hydroponic system really works. Here it is not making use of any soil here, just by making use of water, we are going to grow the plants. And the fourth method uh, we are trying to use in agriculture purpose is greenhouse farming. Here, in the greenhouse farming, what we have done is, we have made an environmental situation in such a way that we have protected all the plants by keeping everything inside the house, which is uh, covered with a plastic uh, layer area. So by making use of this method is we are going to control the environment. When we control the environment by making use of greenhouse farming, definitely our, our plants will grow effectively and uh, it will produce uh, more agricultural uh, things by using uh, this greenhouse farming. And the next type of, uh, the fifth type of farming uh, we are trying to depict here is uh, organic farming. So organic farming is a way of farming where we make use of uh, cow dongs. Here we are not using any fertilizers here or even chemicals. We are purely depending on the natural uh, way of farming which is cow by making use of cow dung. Here by making use of cow dongs, a fertilizer, we call it as this is a composting is a way of fertilizer. If you pour this fertilizer into this agriculture fields, the plants will grow like anything. So that is a way of growing all our plants in a natural way. And the next type of uh, farming we are trying to depict here is uh, drip irrigation. Uh, if you have a lesser water in your agricultural fields, you can use this method because this method will save a lot of water because for each plants, we are going to give the water in a tiny drops. In a tiny drops, each plants will grow. By making use of this method, drip irrigation method, you can save a lot of water. So this is another smart way of doing agriculture. I hope you guys really like this video. If you guys really like this video, please click on like button as well. Share with your friends so that they will also get the benefit out of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.